M0FXB, let's use Chirp with some unsupported Radtel devices. On the left, you can see the Radtel RT920, quite a new device out, and here's Chirp here. We'll minimize that. On the right-hand side here, I've put a link where you can download a modified file that you, that you will upload to Chirp. And this covers many radios, and one of them is the 920. And if you look here along the list, we're seeing the 420, also known as the 730, 890, 850, 800, 590, 470, 470X, 490, and so on. So quite a few radios. And to download the module, you just click here at the bottom. So it's like a two-step process. Click the module so you've got it, and it's just there in my downloads folder. Big thanks to Radtel for making that. So then download Chirp in the normal way. Make sure your existing Chirp is closed and then click get it and then down here download the next chirp and get your get the latest version and you'll see here click that run it in the normal way and when it opens it looks like this so there's two steps that you need to take the first one is to put chirp into developer mode so if you go along here where it says help and just click here and click developer mode I just turned it off there, I just turned it back on, like so, and you get the warning, and there you are. You're in developer mode. You know because when you press help, it says it. Now we upload the module that we've just downloaded. So you go File, Load Module. Now this module is for Radtel. I will try and find some other mod modules for other companies. But Load Module, click Yes. And then go to where that downloaded. Mine's in the download section on my Windows 10 PC. And double click. It's there. So now when you connect your Bofun cable, which is just connected here. And we go right click just to get our port number, device manager. And you'll see... That's down here, ports, and then we are COM3, COM3, just so we know that number. I'm going to go back to Chirp, like so, and go radio, download from radio, so radio, download from radio, then click the port, or we'll select, with the drop down at the top where it says port, drop down, port, then Radtel, and then we get some choice, more choices than we had before, as you can see with the module. So we have chose the 920, click OK, it'll probably give you a warning, click OK, and we're now reading the radio. So some people say, well, what's the point of Chirp? I can use the original software. And there's a big point, because with Chirp, you can import lots of repeaters, um, and you can copy and paste from one type radio to another type radio. So you could literally copy and paste and I haven't actually tested this um, from, say, a Bofeng to a Radtel or an Icom to a Radtel. But, I don't, you know, it has to be supported by Chirp. And uh, please test that before you, uh, before you, uh, before I can fully confirm it. And I will test it, but not in this video. So we've read it and there's hardly anything on the software at the moment. So let's just add a, a, a repeater here. So we'll go 145.600 next to channel 1. Give it a name, GB. 3WR and then we can put in the tone mode which is uh, tone we're going to use and 94.8 uh, what else we got here cross mode duplex so we want plus or minus we want minus there and we need to put a 6 here if you're not familiar we need this 0.6 thousand um, it's actually, is it kilohertz really? Anyway, it says here, megahertz. We need a shift that when we transmit, that it shifts down. So we've got a repeater in there. Uh, we can select power and that's all we need to do. But the other thing you can do is with the chirp is you can go, go file. And let's have a look here. Go across the top radio down three to query source and then down to repeater book and then we can put in our location it's got a rough location there and click okay yeah 
and it finds all these repeaters, okay? And this is what I like about it. Now, you, there's many that you might not want to use, you might want to delete. Um, but anyway, we can then select them all. So we'll go edit, select all, then we'll copy. Go back to the first tab, because you open a new tab when you do that. Click underneath the one we just created, right click and then paste and it will put them all in. And you know, it does, there's a bit of a pause there and you can go through and get rid of all the gaps and all that. But you've just added lots of, you know, interesting channels to your thing. And when you look at that radio uh, query source, there's more options there. It's repeat book, DMR mark. What's that one? Some other ones I don't recognize. Radio reference, ETC. You'd have to put, create an account with them, I would say. Then you also banks, look. That's the nice thing about the, many of the Radtel devices, they have banks. So you can put these radios into banks. At the moment, they're all in bank one, but you could go through them and put them into different banks just by ticking these boxes and you decide. And remember, it does take some work when you're using a radio, especially one that's quite advanced, uh, DMR especially, it's going to take some work. You can't expect someone to just do it all for you because that's just not fair. Um, settings tab, so look, we can... Got the timeout timer here for how long you speak. So we can turn that off, lets you speak forever. <laughs> Vox, backlight I put on, scan, battery save, alarm, just going through here. FM radio, beep, Roger, alarm, and so on. Let's have a look here. Don't even know what that is. That's very techy looking. Oh, don't think I'm going to mess with that because that is, um, I don't think I should have clicked that one. <laughs> Because that is uh, te more technical. So anyway, look at that. So ooh, I'm still clicking. Look, that's the button settings, what your buttons do. Noise reduction, Bluetooth. Yeah, don't forget it's a Bluetooth device. We might as well turn that on. Um, look, we're in super mode there. So that did. And we've got some DTMF shortcuts we could put in. Basic Back to basic settings. Uh, info, whatever that is. Memories file and save and it saves it as a dot img just go save for now of course you can go file and open that img wherever it saved it uh da, 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 edit next up down view radio and so on so now we're just going to send that to the radio so we'll go radio upload to radio and click ok and click ok now what I'm going to do, I'm going to end the video just after this, just quickly testing my Badgerton because Badgerton have brought out a model which is almost identical. So I'm wondering if the memories will go on it. Just out of curiosity, really, I've got the 7800 here, 7800 or, or the 8300. So if we go into memory, there you are, you'll see there's, there's the GB3WR. And then look, they've all got names. So how good is that? And this is why Chirp's good, because you can suddenly upload loads of channels easily and quickly. Um, and everyone likes Chirp's. One of the first questions people say, so I'm just making sure that I'm just gonna, I'm just getting the Badgerton ready to see if it even works. So there's my Badgerton. So I'm chancing it a bit. So um, upload to radio, click OK. Oh, it does work. So I'll do a completely separate video showing people that that will work. I'm going to dig out my, I've got the 8300 as well. And so, yes, yeah, got to be good. See if the buttons work as they should. So it reboots. Yeah. Yeah, it's working fine. Give it a go. Nice tip. And let's find some other modules for other devices that we want to use on Chirp. 73, hope this helps. All the links are in the description. Uh, the key one that you need is the module download, which is here on the right hand side, the Chirp download. And a Bofeng UV5R cable, which I'll put in the description. There you are. They're like a fiver. Uh, well worth having. Work on most radios, but not DMR radios. 73, all the best.